We're going to get started in just a minute. How are we doing on sound? We good? Are you good back there on sound? And we're on Zoom? Amen. All right. I need one extra microphone because some people are coming forward at different times. If you could just put it over here next to the American flag. Yeah, man, you're already on top of it. Thank you. You got it going. If we're technically all set up, so I'd like a thumbs up from our sound engineer, from our video switcher, awesome, from our Zoom person. Um, thumbs up from the congregation, are you guys all ready to start? <laughs> that is fabulous. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom to everyone here, um, physically in our congregation. Shabbat Shalom to everyone who decided to stay home in their nice, beautiful air conditioning with their family nearby or their dogs in their laps, however they might be enjoying your home while playing with us, we are appreciative that you are with us. Maybe not physically, but of course, spiritually. I have to say, it's been a tough week. And you would think of a vacation week as not being very difficult. You would think of a week where we had the 4th of July as being simple. But a lot happened on the 4th of July. There was a lot of violence, and there was a lot of pain. And I have to say that I am happy that we are moving into Shabbat, because I like to distance myself just a little bit from what's happening in our world. And I'm hoping tonight, while working with Joel Stein, our music director, that we'll have some joy and some music, maybe some reflection. But we can, well, take that tragedy, remember it, but not let it overtake our souls, our hearts, our entire beings. So let's take a moment and take a big, deep breath in. And let's hold it. Let's feel Shabbat. 
And let's let it out. And let's take another big, deep breath in and think about the peace we want to see in this world. Let's breathe in and feel the sense of peace we want everyone to feel and breathe out. And now one more deep breath in, whether you're in our congregation or watching us from home, a deep breath in. Feel your center. And breathe out. Tonight we're going to fill our hearts with Shabbat. Tonight we are here together. Tonight we are a community. Hine Matov, our opening song. Joel, please. Hine Matov Manai Shevetachim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Manai Shevetachim Gam Yachad Shivetachim kam yachad Hine matov Shivetachim kam yachad Hine matov umanaim Shivetachim kam yachad Hine matov umanaim Shevetachim kam yachad Hine matov, hine matov Yararai, rararai, rararai, rararai Hine matov, hine matov Rararai, 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 rararai Hine matov, umanahim Shevetachim Kam yachad Hine matov Umanahim Shevetachim Kam yachad We turn to page 138 for Lachad D. And as we sing Lachad D, we should be thinking about that Sabbath bride entering our lives blessing us with her royalty her presence, her generosity, her ability to move us from a place of commonness to a place of glory. So let's take a moment. Let's think about this queen, this princess, this example of Shabbat as she enters our lives. We're on page 138. We'll be doing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9, rising on the last verse. Joel. Hadodi, the Krakala, the Neshaba, the Kabela, the Hadodi, the Krakala, the Neshaba, the Kabela, Shamor Vizahor, Betty Burehad, he shmeanu. El hameu had a donai e had u shemo e had the shem ulti ferret the eliti la e had o di e kakala e ne shabbat ne kabela e had o di e kakala e ne shabbat Nehikabela, we crash a bat, the juvenel haki, he mekor, Abraham, Rosh, Mikedem, Nesuha, Sof Mahase, the Marshavat Hila, the Kadoti, the Kakala, the Neshabat, Nehikabela. Hadodi, Krakala, Penishabat, 
Nehekabela Itoreri Itoreri Kiva Orech Komi Ori Uri Uri Shida Berikavod Atonai Alaik Nikla Nehadodi Kakala Pene Shabbat Nehekabela Hadodi, he cacala, Pene Shaba, Ne Cabela. Rise and face the back door. Boy Vishalo, Aterebala Gam, Besimcha, Uvetso Halato, Emune. Am segula, boi chala, boi chala, le chadodi, mi kakala, e me shabat, me kabela, le chadodi, mi kakala, e me shabat. We turn to page 142 for Shalom Aleichem. We've greeted that Sabbath bride, but we still need to be blessed by some angels. And Shalom Aleichem talks about those angels. Those angels who come each Shabbat, floating from house to house, from synagogue to synagogue, from temple to temple, from person to person. They come, they place their arms upon our heads, and they bless us. And we need to feel that blessing each Friday night. And each Friday night, we should close our eyes during this song for at least a few seconds and think about what blessing you need tonight. What blessing is missing from your life that needs to be in your heart? So we are on page 142. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashare, Malachi Elion. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachi, Akadosh Baruch Ruachem le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi elion. Mi melech, malachi amlachi, akadosh baruchu. Barechuni le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi elion. Mi melech, malachi hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Sedchem le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi elion. Mi melech, malachi amlachim, akadosh baruchu. Pam and Chris, do you guys want to come forward to light our Shabbat candles tonight? I'm hoping that quite soon we can go back to the table that's filled with candles so everyone can light the candles. But we're going to wait another month or two before that returns to the community. If the two of you could light our candles, please.
the brightness of Shabbat enters our lives as these candles are lit, the brightness of love, community, camaraderie, study, prayer, and reflection. As we say the blessing, let's think about all of these ideas and how they reflect in our Judaism and how they reflect in our hearts. Here we go. I <laughs> Sivanu Vitsivanu Vitsivanu Vihadikne We turn to page one hundred and forty six for the Barhu, for the call to worship. Everything up to this moment has been in preparation. It's been preparing our hearts and our souls so that we can pray. And the prayer of Baruch Hu is actually the start of our service. So we've warmed up. Now let's rise. Let's face the ark. And let's sing out to God, the Baruch Hu. <laughs> Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach HaMevorach Le'olam ba'eh Ha-ha-mevorach Ha-ha-mevorach Le'olam Please remain standing for the Shema. Let's feel our feet planted firmly on the ground. Let's take a hand and cover our eyes. Let's take a moment and feel our connection with one another. Let's remember that the Shema speaks about connection. It speaks about community. It speaks about us and all that is holy. The Shema. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echa Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vahe you may be seated. We continue with the Vahafta, found on page 154. Vahafta, 
את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאותיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת הפעם בשבטך בביתך ולכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם Let's all turn to page 159 because I know everyone looks relaxed tonight, but I want to get you a little bit more involved, maybe wake you up with a communal reading. And knowing the way of people watching us on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, I need everyone here to be very loud to make this place sound full. So we are on page 159. I want everyone to read with me very, very loudly. Here we go. Sing the song of men and women. Join in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles, an earth protected and cherished, a gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content, her soldiers home to leave no more. The song of a world redeemed, the song of peace. Micha Mocha, page 158. You guys were amazing. Malchutecha rahu vanecha Pokea yam lifne Moshe u Miriam Zeheli anu veamru Zeheli anu veamru Adonai im bloch leolam vayet Adonai im bloch leolam vayet Let's turn to page 162 for Vishamru. Vishamru reminds us to both protect and to observe Shabbat. By protecting it, we're observing it. By observing it, we are protecting it. It's a big circle. As long as we do one, we're always doing the other. So let's remember to do at least one of these things, thereby protecting and observing. We are on page 162. Veshamru ben Israel et ha-Shabbat la'asot et ha-Shabbat le'dorot ha-Merim 
Olam v'shamru b'nei Israel et ha-shabbat la-hasot et ha-shabbat le-torotam berit olam b'ni uvein b'nei Israel oti le-olam oti le-olam oti le-olam v'shamru b'nei Israel et Ashabat Lasot et Ashabat Vedor Tamberi Tolam Kisheshet Yamim Asa Adonai Asa Adonai Et Ashamayim Vet Aaret Veshamru Vene Israel Et Ashabat לעשות את השבת לדורתם בריא עולם. וביום השביעי שבת ונפש, שבת ונפש, שבת ונפש. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לתורתם ברית עולם. We turn to page 371 for the Misha Berach prayer. We're taught by Rebbe Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev that, when, that whether a person really loves God can be determined by the love that person shares with others. This is the heart of the Misha Barak prayer. In a public space, we announce our love for those who are sick within our community, and then we pray as a community for them. Tonight on our Misha Barak list, Richard Barrett, Herman Bustamante, Jerry Chutko, Alex Fischel, Sylvia Nemiroff, Joan Shank, Louise Adhami, Peggy Holm, Gloria Katzman, Sherry Wells, Lisa Bruner, Firuz Manavi, Vahi Manavi, Kathy Salibi, Neil Friedman, Sarah Knopf, Wayne Shaw, Jack, Jack Simone, Ron Jacobs, Barry Katz, Sharon Schenker, Paul Hiddleman, Mark Jeff, Jeff Stickler, Leanne Rosenberg, Karen Ibadi, Jacob Alone, Renee Ross, Jonathan Ames, Mark Groner, Gloria Katzman, Barbara Johnson, Julie Polly, Karen Zielinski, Zielinski. We think of also of those suffering in Ukraine due to war, those injured due to border challenges, those healing from all, well, from the all too frequent attacks of gun violence those affected by terrorism, and all those caring for the ill. May the God of our ancestors grant our fuwa shleima, a complete and full healing to all those we name tonight and to all those we hold in our hearts. If you have an additional names, please share them with me now. The singing of Misha Barak, page 371. Misha Barak, Avotelu, Meko Abracha, Limotelu, May the source of strength who bless the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, 
I love to change the world, but I rarely appreciate things as they are. I know how to give, but I don't always know how to receive. I know how to keep busy, but I don't know how to be still. I talk, but I don't often listen. I look, but I don't often see. I yearn to succeed, but I often forget what is truly important. Teach me, God, to slow down. May my resting revive me. May it lead me to wisdom, to holiness, to peace, and to you. Let us rise for the Amidah found on page 164. We face the ark. Adonai Sifatai tiftach ufiaki teilatecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, velohe avotenu veimoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov. Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol, ha'gibor ve'hanora. El Elyon, Komel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezochel Chasde Avot Veimahot, Umevi Geula, Livnevnehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melech Hoser, Umoshia Umaken, Baruch Adonai. Magen Avraham Vezrat Sarah Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Akol Ata Rav Lehoshia Morid Hatal Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed Mechaye Akol Beracham Him Rabim Tzomech Noflim Verofe Horim Umatir Hasurim Umekayem Emunato Lishene Afar Nihamocha Balkevuot Umito Melach Melech Memit Umechaye, umats miach Yeshua, veneman atal yachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh, veshimcha kadosh, uktoshim bechol yom, yalelu chasela. Baruch atah Adonai Ha'el HaKadosh 
We continue silently through page 180. When you're done with your silent prayer, you may be seated. Od javo shalom aleinu Od javo shalom aleinu Od javo shalom aleinu Ve'an kulam Od javo shalom aleinu Od yavu shalom aleinu Od yavu shalom aleinu Ve'al kula salam Aleinu ve'al kula Salam, shalom. Salam, aleinu ve al kol haolam. Salam, shalom. Od yavu shalom aleinu. Od yavu shalom aleinu. Od yavu shalom aleinu. Ve'al kulam. Od yavu shalom aleinu. Od yavu shalom aleinu. Od yavu. Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kulam It seems even on Shabbat we can't avoid a conversation about death because the Torah portion Chukat talks a lot about death. As you all know, we mourn when those closest to us pass from this life. We mourn when senseless acts of violence occurs against innocence. And we mourn when our leaders are taken from us. As I looked at this line, I thought about Japan. This week's Torah portion is not an easy one for the Israelite people and for Moses. It describes the death of not one but two great leaders, Miriam and Aaron. It's a study in grief. It's a study in how we as Jews mourn. But let's take a moment and think about who Miriam and Aaron actually were. The simplest of answers tells us that they were the older siblings of Moses and the two prophets who helped lead the Israelites through 40 years of wandering. 
Miriam, she was the prophet who saved Moses' life as a baby, who led the people in song and dance at the shore of the Sea of Reeds, and who brought water to the people. And Aaron, he stood by his brother's side during the ten plagues, and later became the first high priest of the Jewish people. What we always seem to forget is that while Moses was spending the first 40 years of his life living in the Pharaoh's palace and the next 40 in the land of Midian, his siblings remained in Egypt, living among the Israelites, living their lives as slaves. They weren't caressed by the luxuries or freedoms that filled Moses' existence. They lived their lives as slaves and they toiled under the laws of the Pharaoh while still holding the Israelites together as a nation. In many ways, unlike Moses, their lives were not easy. They struggled and they suffered because they lived under the Pharaoh's thumb. And let's not forget what was Moses during these 80, doing during these 80 years. He was doing that very new age thing of finding himself. He spent 80 years finding himself. He was 80 when he stumbled upon the burning bush and his siblings were even older. The bush told him to return to Egypt to free the Israelites. Did his siblings think he was going to do this? Did his siblings who were slaves think that he would come back? I highly doubt it. They probably didn't even know if Moses was alive. But when he did return, Aaron and Miriam immediately joined him in his holy charge. That's the background. But in the, excuse me, but at this moment in the Torah, 40 years of wandering has passed. Miriam and Aaron have grown old. It's time for a new generation to take on the reins of leadership. And so the Torah teaches us in Numbers chapter 20. The Israelites arrived in a body at the wilderness of Zin on the first new moon, and the people stayed at Kadesh. Miriam died there and was buried there. The community was without water, and they went against Moses and Aaron. How simple is this description? Yet within it, we see the pain of the Israelite nation. Miriam's death is followed by an outcry, a thirst. Miriam was known as the bearer of water, and there are many stories about her association with this element. But after she passes, the metaphor of the water becomes apparent. While the people might need real water, they also thirst for her presence. That which once quenched their thirst is now gone. They react in fear, a common reaction to when someone dies, especially a leader finding a problem to focus upon. And while the people are thirsting for Miriam, what does Moses do? He speaks with God who tells him to talk to a rock about giving the people some water. Talk is the primary word here. Instead, Moses strikes the rock. When someone we love passes, is that often what we do? Instead of reacting calmly, we react in anger. This is what we would expect Moses to do as he mourns his sister, not to talk to a rock and say kindly, please give me some water. But in his pain, in his anguish, in his grief, to strike that rock, to let his emotions out. The pain of Miriam's death is given to us in metaphor and very human reactions. Miriam's death shows how often fear and anger are part of our mourning process, but once water is given to us, we are reminded that life does move forward. That's the beginning of Chukot. Then we get to the end and we hear about Mo's, excuse me, about Aaron's death. And his death is far from metaphorical. The Torah teaches us, Adonai said to Moses and Aaron, take Aaron and his son Eliezer and bring them up on Mount Hor." Strip Aaron of his vestments, put them on his son. There Aaron shall be gathered unto the dead. Moses did as Adonai had commanded. They ascend the mountain in the sight of the whole community. Moses stripped Aaron of his vestments, put them on his son Eliezer. 
And Aaron died there on the summit of the mountain. When Moses and Eliezer came down from the mountain, the whole community knew that Aaron had breathed his last. And all the house of Israel bewailed Aaron 30 days. This is pure ritual. The entire community watching as Eliezer, Aaron, and Moses ascend that mountaintop. There's a disrobing, the passing on of what you did to the next generation. And finally, well, that process of going back down the hill to say, here is your new high priest. And the people then mourning for 30 days. And 30 days should sound familiar to all of you. Because that's Shloshim. That's where we get Shloshim. This is the 30 days of mourning that people did for Aaron. This description is quite different than that of Miriam's. It takes a very logical approach to mourning. It's more ritualistic. It speaks directly of process, yet it does not have, or it has very little emotion to it. Each death is felt by the community, yet each has a different reaction, a reaction reflecting the individual's relationship with the community. Or perhaps the Torah is teaching us about both the process and the emotion of mourning by showing us two examples. So in this Torah portion, the emotional reaction of the people when Miriam dies. We want water. We thirst for water. The symbol of Miriam. And the people's reaction to receiving a new high priest. They take a very ritualistic approach and stop for 30 days. We all, we all when we mourn, take both approaches, emotional and ritualistic. So my blessing for this community tonight, when we mourn, and we all mourn at some point in our lives, let us remember to express our emotions, our thirsts, and to allow rituals to help guide us, because both are part of the healing process. And together we say, Amen. It's my honor to ask Karen Nyberg, one of our board members, to come forward. I know she's got some announcements. I'm going to ask you to stand in front of my bima as you do this, if that's okay. Shabbat Shabbat shalom, everyone. Thank you, Rabbi John. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Lindsay, for filming and streaming so our entire community can come together. Thank you, David, for making us everyone sound great. And thank you, Jessica, for organizing everything. <laughs> really? You don't say. <laughs> and now for a few announcements. It's that time of year again. Our new congregational commitment year began July 1st. Please check your inbox for your 2022-2023 congregational commitment. This year, we made it easy for you. Just log in and renew. Next Friday, July 15th, please come meet and help us welcome our new cantor, Orly Campbell. Save the date for our Beach Shabbat on July 22nd. Come early and bring a picnic, then join us for an inspirational service as we watch the beautiful sunset. And on July 29th, get ready to join us for our Drumming Circle Shabbat services. We'll have a young family drumming circle at 5 p.m., in the middle, a pizza dinner at 6 p.m., and then our congregational Shabbat at 6.30 p.m. Pizza dinner at 5.45. Pizza dinner at 5.45. This week's Sadaka Box donations will go to the West Valley Food Pantry. Please donate generously. Thank you all for joining us on this beautiful Shabbat evening, and Shabbat Shalom. So tonight, so tonight we're doing a plaque unveiling. Unveiling is not the right term because it's not actually covered. Um, but it's the first night the plaque is being lit. So I'm going to, and, the, uh, and I'm going to invite up um, Chris Wilson and uh, Pam Marshall um, because the plaque um, is in memory of um, Chris's mother. Um, Chris's mother is Barbara Perlin um, Kauahi. I, wanted, I worked on that. I'm going to have the two of you stand next to me. I'm going to hand you guys a microphone. 
So when we dedicate a plaque in the sanctuary, I always ask the family members to come forward and to do a reading. So tonight they'll be doing a reading from page 594, reading number five, if you would like to join along. We're on page 594, reading number five. Chris? It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream, to be, to be, and oh, to lose. A thing for fools, this, and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me. Your laugh once lifted me. Your word was a gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy. Tis a human thing, love, a holy thing, to love what death has touched. I'm going to have the two of you remain up here as I read the list. On our recently departed list, Rivka Goldstein, remembered by Cantor Orley Campbell and her family. We also remember the over 220 lives taken by gun violence, including the heartbreaking attack in Highland Park. We think of those who have died of COVID and those killed in the Ukraine. And on our Yort site list, Barbara Kyle Ahi, Robert Beacon, Jesse Cowan, Bruce Fromm, Dr. Arnold Z. Geller, Marilyn Hassan, David Holtz, Ted Holtz, Charles Kamrosh, Estelle Kamrosh, Jerome Catan, David B. Corpiel, Harry Mann, Adolf Meyer, Robert Michaels, Milton Newborn, Esther Oren, Harold Parks, Phyllis Leah Schaffner, Marianne Sherman, Tina Skier, Stuart Sobel, Liesel Spiegel, Stanley Spiro, Bessie Vogel, Hilda Weiner, and Ken Wildman. If you have an additional name for our Kaddish or your site list, please share it with me now. If you're in the first seven days of mourning, Shiva, I ask you to rise. If you're in the first 30 days of mourning, Shloshim, I ask you to rise. If you're observing a yurt site, I ask you to rise. And I apologize, I skipped. If you're in the first year of mourning, please rise. These are the mourners in our midst. We rise to show them our love and our support. We are on page 598. Yitkadal v'yikadash me'i rabba v'yalma divra chirute v'yamlech malchute v'chayechon v'yamechon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael b'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru yehei shmei rabba m'varak le'olam olamei amaya Yit barach, v'yishtabak, v'yit pa'ar, v'yit ramam, v'yit naseh. V'yit adar, v'yit ale, v'yit alal, shmei d'kudsha, b'rechu. Leila min kol birchata v'shirata. Chushpachata v'nechamata. Damiran be'alma v'imru. Yehei shlama rabba min shmaya. V'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu yase shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'imru. Amen. May the one who makes peace on high grant peace to all who mourn, to all Israel, and to all humankind. And together we say, If you know the people next to you, put your arms around them. If you do not know them, ask them before you put your arm around them and respect the response, whatever it might be. We're going to be doing a closing song. O se shalom. O se shalom bim Roma. Uya se shalom halenu. O se shalom bim Roma. Uya se 
Shalom Aleinu Ose Shalom in Roma Uyase Shalom Aleinu Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'al kol Israel Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'al kol Israel Ose Shalom Bim Romal Uyase Shalom Aleinu Shalom be Roma, who ya say, Shalom, Aleno. O say, Shalom be Roma, who ya Shalom, Aleno. Ya say, Shalom, Ya say, Shalom, Shalom, Aleno, be alcohol Israel. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'akol Israel. Chris and Pam, can you hold our Kiddush cup tonight? You will have to take the tin foil off the top. Let's all hold up our imaginary Kiddush cups right now. I'm hoping that soon we'll go back to uh, Kiddush again. I feel like we've taken a couple week break from that. COVID determines what we do. All right, and let's fill our glasses with a little grape juice. Let's pretend like we're in preschool. Hold it up nice and high, and we'll do the short uh, kiddush right now. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Bore Piriakafen. Chris and Pam, if you can uncover that challah now, hold it up nice and high. Let's all point at it and go, yummy, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We need Chris helping out, though. There we go. And here we go. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz b'teavon. Take a little bite of the challah. We're going to put the challah on the edge of the table. You're welcome to come forward, get some challah. We also have oneg in the next room. If you see someone you don't know, introduce yourself, be friendly. And Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Very welcome. Shabbat.